15 pieces every woman in their 50s should have. As a personal stylist and being 50 myself, I'm not a big fan of telling women what to wear based on their age. Because I truly and honestly believe that if you love what you're wearing and you feel confident in it, then you should go ahead and wear it. That's how women in their 50s will only benefit from having a foundational wardrobe in place. A handful of classic basics and accessories that will make get dressed much easier, that flatter your form, and that you can rely on through the seasons. So here are my 15 go-to pieces that every woman in their 50s should pad their closet with. A really good blazer. This is the one piece that really, really matters. But if you think that just any blazer would do the trick, think again. In order for it to do what it's supposed to do, which is elevate any look, it has to be perfectly tailored. So take the time to find the right piece and don't be intimidated of finding a tailor, a good tailor to alter it if need be. So it cannot be snug around the neck if you want to layer it with other pieces in winter and really pay attention to the length and the sleeves if they are too sloppy, that's extremely important. I also have a look at the, the line here, it falls right at your shoulder line, unless it's oversized. So th this, all these details really matter. And once you find a perfect fitted blazer, you can tone down a pretty dress, you can dress down your favorite denim with a t-shirt, or you can wear with slacks for work. A pair of black boots, high, low, over the knee, whatever you prefer, you can never go wrong with black boots. I think a woman over 50 is in a special position to be able to inspire younger women, to show them that aging gracefully is not only possible, but a privilege. That not only can you look better over time, but you never have to lose your signature style. For me, there's no better style for a woman over 50 than a classic style. Now, that doesn't mean that it can be boring or that, you know, lose your personality in that. Quite the opposite. I've said many times that the classics should be the, only the foundation of your wardrobe, like 80% roughly of your wardrobe and your outfit. The remaining 20%, these are the pieces that scream you. When you have your foundation sorted, feel free and go ahead and add the bohemian side of you, the romantic side of you, whatever style that really resonates with you. That way you won't overwhelm the whole look and you won't look like you're trying too hard. I absolutely love a peplum style. I've been a huge fan since they, they came back a couple of years ago and they're still in the strong. They are the so-called pants turned into classics which I absolutely love. If you're ever investing in something, in, in some trends, go for these pieces that you rest assured that they're gonna stay for a long, long time. And peplum is one of those that's so flattering for most body types because it highlights your waist. Every time you highlight your waist, it's really, really flattering and slimming. And I absolutely love it. You can tuck in if you don't like the, the peplum part of it. But that's, that's the versatility of that. It can be very versatile and it, it would always be. What I loved, this one I love the most is that it's got the boat neck, which is always enlarging and flattering on your neckline. It really makes your shoulders wider. Another thing that's very flattering for balancing out the figure and your shape. Have at least one animal print piece. Elect the one that you that most resonate with you. It can be leopard or it can be zebra, whatever it's more like your style. I particularly like a silk blouse, an animal print, but it's a personal touch. I think it's the safest way to start with animal print, or the safest way would be in a formal scarf or something smaller. But if you want to go one step ahead, I think a top would be the, your best option. 
don't be afraid of print as well or bold color. You don't need to overdo it, but if you have the right amount of print, remember the larger the pattern, the, la the larger you will appear. So opt for smaller, daintier patterns and don't be afraid to wear them, especially if they are timeless prints, like I said, an animal print or, or polka dots or stripes. the trench coat. If you haven't got one, I think it's time to start considering having one. Having a trench coat is such a must in every woman's wardrobe. It's those, those classic pieces that you can wear with a white t-shirt or you can wear with a dress underneath, denim or, or slacks and a pair of loafers or tennis in the week and sneakers or even sandals. So many ways you can wear it. But I would go one step further and just try something completely unexpected like a denim trench coat. An oversized one, perhaps. Every woman should have a statement outwear. Yes, you heard it right. A statement coat is a base because it can make or break your outfit. So it doesn't really matter what you're wearing underneath. So simply look, at, look for a design that can be very wearable for you and wear it as you would wear a black or camel coat. And believe me, the more you wear it, the more you realize how just versatile a statement coat can be. Finding the right pair that not only fits your body shape, but also flatters your hips and thighs can be very challenging. That you know you work from a variety of options, from a button down to a cozy sweater, it's really worth the effort. And while there's hardly a universal style that suits all body types, most women will find that the crop style is the one that will do most for them. What I love the most about it is that it gives you the chance to, hi to highlight your shoes. All you have to do is figure out the, the style that most suits your body type, just whether it's straight leg, tapered, or white leg. And buy two pairs with different colors. It could be a burgundy, it could be a black, some dark, up for dark colors preferably. And that way you don't need to worry about pants anymore for a while. One of my favorite skirts to have is a satin skirt. It works beautifully with your fitted blazer. You can wear with boots and sandals. It's just so much you can do with it. It gives that sophisticated edge to your look that you can easily dress up or down. And we go with any other pieces, with a peplum top, with an animal print silk top, or you can wear with a t-shirt and sneakers and a denim jacket on the weekend. not only restricted to the boardroom, a white shirt is, is an off-duty century in recent years, thanks to its ability to instantly polish an outfit. An oversized version offers a directional twist that ensures it can be dressed up or down. Wear loose or style with tailored pants for a smart look that telegraphs a relaxed mood or button it up with jeans. Top tip, look for pieces crafted from cotton poplin for that refreshed dress look. Again, dress up or down, it's guaranteed success and nonchalant style. For me, there's no other more quintessentially chic shoes than the strappy sandals. Go for square toes for the ultimate modern touch. I feel that many women think that just because they're getting older, they should turn down their look or just simply disappear. But that shouldn't be the truth. It's quite the opposite. You should just turn up the volume and really show up and elect one statement piece to do that. Could be a dress or a coat. Don't feel intimidated by prints and vibrant colors. It's not that you have to wear an entire bold and bright outfit from head to toe. Just elect one piece to be the focal point and always choose where you want to draw the attention to. So deviate the attention from your perceived flaws and elect one area that you feel great about it and highlight it and celebrate it. I cannot even begin to express how much I love jumpsuits since they came back from the 80s. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's the perfect piece to replace a dress. 
is such an expected replacement for a simple dress. And I have a sweet spot for a, an utilitarian one in a neutral color, in a khaki or a beige. It's fantastic for layering. It's a great piece to wear in summer, of course, but it also can be layered. And I love it with a turtleneck. You know my love for bodysuits. It, it looks great with a bodysuit underneath as well, or even under your statement coat. I just love the effortlessly cool vibe when someone is wearing a utilitarian piece. Accessories are key when it comes to styling. They are the icing on the cake, they insert your signature style. You don't need to overdo it, but the right amount of accessory will insert your personality, will create some interest to the look, but most importantly, they add practicality. So when it comes with sunglasses and shoes, they really, really are your health. So sh you should pay more attention to those. And a, a scarf will not only add color and, and interest to the look, but it has a function of reflecting the light right back to your face. So if it's the wrong color, it will cast some nasty shadows upon your face. So that's ex extremely important to know your coloring a little bit. So let me know if you're interested in, in me doing um, a video on personal coloring, just some guidelines. So that's really, really nice to have one and wear occasionally just to add that warmth that we're all looking for. Another must-have item in any elegant woman's wardrobe is a chain bag. Also immortalized by Coco Chanel, they really I adore to these days. As we get older, we should pay attention to our bags as well. They should be more structured and they should have great quality to them. Doesn't need to be designer necessarily, but they have to be quality bags. Otherwise, they will wreck your outfit. I hope this video did exactly what it was supposed to do. Plenty of outfit ideas for over 50 women. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below if you have a piece that you love that you were missing here. If you love this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, that would be lovely too. Thank you so much for joining me today and hopefully you join me again on Sunday for more outfit inspirations and style advice. Hope to see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.